Hello guys, welcome again to Coding Channel and today we're going to teach you how to install Kodi in a Debian desktop operating system. This is an alternative way of installing Kodi in Debian, right? If you haven't seen yet, watch our video on how to install Debian in Ubuntu. It will be pretty much the same, but for Debian specifically, we have this alternative way that I'm going to um, show you how to do it from now on. Okay, so the first thing I'm running here, a Debian version 8 Jesse, okay, with the desktop mode enabled, of course. And the first thing I'll do, I'll, cl I'll click here on activities. And then I'm going to type here terminal on the search bar and I'm going to click on the terminal icon. Uh, once the terminal opens, I am going to type sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. Okay, this command will basically um, open this file in the nano file editor. You can use any file editor you want. I like nano because there there is the option for you to copy and paste stuff. Um, I think it's way easier than VI, but you can use any text editor you want. Okay, so once you type this, it's going to ask for your password. I'm going to type here my password and it's going to open the file. Okay, so once the file is open, I'm going to the very end of it. So I'm going to include this line here, which is deb space http colon slash slash http dot debian dot net slash debian space jesse dash backports space main. Okay, I'm going to include this line. Now I'm going to save the file pressing Ctrl X. I'm going to press yes to save the file and then enter to return to the terminal. Okay. Okay. Now, once I have included that line in my sources list, I have to update my sources list uh, with the command sudo apt-get update. I'm going to run this command and it's going to update my repository lists now, including that repository, that line that I just put in the file. Okay, so once the repository um, is properly updated, now I'm going to run Kodi installation, which is sudo apt-get install Kodi, just like we do to install any application. Okay, so I'm going to run this command and it's going to warn me that it will to include here in my case another 93 megabytes. I'm fine with that. I'm just going to press yes and hit enter. And I'm going to wait for the installation to be properly done. All right, now my installation is completed. So I'm going to close the terminal here. I'm going to click again in the activities. And now I'm going to type on the search bar Kodi, K-O-D-I, and I'm going to click in the Kodi icon, and I'm going to wait for Kodi to open here in my desktop. Okay, so Kodi is now open, and you can see that it's properly running. Um, all the menus, everything is okay so far, and I'm going to exit Kodi now. So once again, I'm going to click in the power um icon and the power button I'm in and now I'm going to choose the exit option okay so just as in all other installations we can do lots of things here like shutting down suspend hibernator reboot I'm just going to click exit to return to my desktop and there it is now I'm here back in my desktop and you can see that uh, Kodi is running well and we have Kodi installed on a, from on a different way than we did for Ubuntu. So it's a little bit easier actually. The only thing is that there is that step that you have to include the repository in the configuration file. But so far 
it's very easy to install okay thanks for watching again and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this video just click on like and share it with your friends as well thank you guys see you next time take care